All right, dude. All right. Welcome, Welcome back. Back. We're doing a little, little quick old uh, little collector's little corner. A little Thursday action. I don't know why he's talking on my part. That might, uh, Is that your part? I'm sorry. So. Go ahead and do the rest, dude. Uh, Welcome so. back. <laughs> so, go ahead for a little bit. He's Dan and I'm Sean. So, uh, <laughs> tonight we're going to uh, go through a couple collections. We're going to hit three? Three collections? Yeah, three. Three quick collections. We're we'll knock tell them you, out, dude. We'll tell you some bottles that we think that you should have that are going to fit right in, be kind of you, a little bit budget friendly. Yep. And then we're going to throw up some bottles that are lofty ones that we think you'd enjoy. We call those the Spurge bottles. Spurge bottles. All right. Wait, where's the. All right. Let me uh, read this real quick. So we're here. I already read it. I didn't. Fuck you. I already did. First collection we're going to be looking at. You'll see the pictures on the screen. Andrew. Nope. Andy. Yep. And Shigo. Die. Shigo. I just need a tablet. He's got a forager's keep. He does. What's rhetoric is that? 25, I think. 25. Yeah, it's very dark. Joseph Magnus. Three or, that's a three or five. That's a five. Look okay. how dark that is. That's a cigar Joseph Magnus. Yeah. That's the one I want. All sealed by I the saw way. a master's keep box. Hey, unseal that Joseph Magnus cigar blend. Let us know. I want smooth uh, and amp on old Jim scout. Jim. Oh yeah, the distillers of a couple of bookers. That's a little book. Will it? Rabbit hole that's unopened. Dickle, get out of Sir, here. Sir, why are so many of these unopened? Blood oath. Wait, are any of these open? I don't think so. None of them look open. I don't think any of these are open. What's the next picture? Tumbling dice, that's not open. You open that right now. There's a, that, I don't know if that's a hang on that, uh, if it's a store pick or not. The Kentucky, Kentucky Spirit. Spirit. Sick decanter. I don't know what Diablo's fucking shadow is. That's a dickle. That's gross. That's the Battle of Bondage. Holy shit. These are the shit. open ones. Here All we right. go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. That's one of the pinhook ones. Yeah, pinhook's so easy to pick out with the break. That glasses. is an open tumbling dice. Oh, I see why all those are closed now. Yep, yep. There might be some duplicates. Holy I think it's shite. a Legion uh, cat. That? Yeah. Yeah, looks possible. Dude, you got a I little bit of everything. Literally shit. a little bit of everything going on here. How do you choose from Highland, these? Highland, okay. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, scotch and... Scotch and Irish? Here. Yeah, scotch and Irish, sorry. Okay, we will... Uh, We'll do a little uh, deliberation, and then uh, we'll come back with some okay. bottles we think you need. Um, I think I don't have one. There's a four of the small mess slide. All right. So, Andy, she go. And there she goes. That's what that reminds me of. That is what it was, dude. Uh, for the non-splurge, first bottle, I'm going to go JTS Brown. I feel like that is the most non-splurged bottle on the planet, and it's so good. Fifteen dollars, dude. It's the best sub twenty dollar bottle on the planet. Period. Hand. All right, I I raised my I raised my range a little bit, looking at um, where I think your ceiling kind of was a little bit on what you paid for bottles. Sure. Um, but I saw a good amount of Irish in there. You get like some red breast and some stuff like that. Yeah. So I think you gotta you gotta pick up a green spot, good sir. You owe it to yourself to enjoy that. Um, the spot whiskeys are probably some of my favorite Irish, so. I think spot and red breast. I feel yeah. like you gotta have red breast 12 and green yeah. spot. I think and you, you have, have you've got 12 and you've got 12 cask. You try the, the green spot. He's got some of the Jamesons. He's yeah. got a, a power or two in there. He did have some proper 12. <laughs> He's got some proper 12. All right, so <laughs> my recommendation for uh, your splurge, splurge bottle splurge. is gonna be an $80 bottle of High West Campfire because you like scotch yep. and you like bourbon yep. and there's a burr rye. What in the world else could I recommend except a High West Campfire? Now, if you can find a store pick of it, do that. This might be the first time that uh, you went super budget and I just went super expensive. That's true. Yeah, um, yours is way more expensive. Yeah, so my splurge was Angel's Envy Cat Strength. Um, we saw a barrel dovetail in there, which is a finished whiskey at cast rank. Yep. It looked like you and enjoyed it. It's a good it. one. It was about half full. Uh, right along those same lines, Angel's Envy Cask, delightful. Can't go wrong. Yearly release, 200 buck. Um, I think you'd enjoy it. Yeah, and thank you, Andy, for sending in your collection. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir. We're going to move on to the second collection, which is Matthew McConaughey, 48. <laughs> This is what I saw when I saw oh, Matthew okay. McNabb. Thank you, sir. We are going to get nice into little, your little collection cabinet. now. I like the cabinet. We're going right. to start top down. Oh, yeah. yeah. A younger rhetoric. That's yeah. a 23. Our that's house. a 25. 
Because look at the darkness. I know, but look at the butter house. Sorry, we, I love butter house. What? Me too. I was just wondering how empty it was. Very. Yeah, it's you keep empty. drinking mine every time you come I over. I don't drink yours. I drink your Dick. river at 22. Yeah, I know, you're at your butter house. Which is right next to it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's a whole Buffalo Trace shelf. Yep. Very Buffalo Trace shelf. Literally Buffalo Trace shelf. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm all forced here. A little bit about me. It's so. confiscated. That ain't open. It should be. That's my pick right now. I'm going to make oh, opening. Yeah, they're right next to each other and unopened. Yep. Bernheim back there. You can keep that closed. I know you got a Tucker bib there. I don't know if it's any bib good. Bib Tucker. But I know you got the old Tucker bib. Um, Which one's that? Is that Mountain Gay? That's uh, something blend. Uh, cornerstone blend. Sure. Oh, low gap. Sorry. You I thought suck. I said Mount Gay. Oh, he's got an iron root in there. Yeah, heck yeah, you do, dude. All right, let's move on here. Some Japanese. Oh, almost said. Yeah, there are some Japanese. Japanese. Um, those are special Pendletons. Yep. Special that Canadians. one, too. That's a Nika. A little caribou frosting. from the barrel. There's a lot of unopened stuff here. Rare bird. Never had Hill Rock, but seen it. Never drank it. Yep. I've seen it. There's a lot of green proof. proof. Lot. That's a normal lot 40 back uh, there. It's a Willet Green Top. What's Big Ten? Store pick. Yeah. Damn, that's another likes... one of those Diablo Shadow. Oh, this guy's from California, too. Yeah. So that's what both of them are from California. Okay, so it looks like he enjoys his ride Andy, a little Andy bit. Andy and more. Matthew McConaughey should hang out, dude. Yeah. Oh, there's a the heaven door. We haven't dude, tried those yet. That nickel bottle bun must have been everywhere in California. Yeah. It didn't. I don't recommend it. Ooh, he does like his rise. What, what year is this bad boy? A nice four-year Willet. Mm. Yep. You can't be mad at that with a cornerstone. And we love cornerstone. If you know nothing else about, uh, about us, it's how much we love cornerstone and how we think it's the greatest rye ever. All right, we're gonna do some deliberation here. We're gonna we'll chat about we're gonna what come bottle. Come back with what you should own. Matthew McConaughey, sir. We got right. a couple of bottles to recommend to you. Uh, my non-sport is a 1910. It's okay. Because it's, it's gray whiskey. And it just recently came out. And they're actually still bottling more. Yeah. Because on their Instagram, they just posted them bottling more. So I think they um, came prepared this time. What's funny is I actually also kind of went along the exact same line scan and went with Jack Daniels Heritage. I think those 1910 and the Heritage have um, really similar uh, tasting profiles. That's interesting. They're like I dessert in a glass. I love both. Yeah, they're a fat man's whiskey. Yeah, they sure. Are. Okay. Maybe they're that's why I like them. Super decadent. Um, yeah, they're both good pickups. Yeah. Uh, for the old non sports I'm gonna. I see you got a Noble Collection, the Cornerstone there, and there's a ton of other Canadian whiskey in there. Yep. I'm going to go with uh, the new Noble Collection, which is a French oak, which I think is like seventy bucks ish. Not bad. It's not yeah. super high price. I think it's an interesting expression of Canadian whiskey. So. Yep. Um, and then mine, my, my splurgy splurge is going to be some Parker's Heritage Rye. Um, I know it's going to be a little harder to find and it's like 150 bucks, yeah. but good shit. Yeah. It's really good. Um, and I see you got a lot of rye in there and they're usually a little bit sweeter. It's still That's delightful. true. So Matthew McConaughey. <clears throat> good sir. I really would have thought you had had more wild turkey. In I there. know that's what I was thinking too. But thank you for sending us your you didn't collection. Have, I should, we should have said one bottle, Longhorn. <laughs> Just say Longhorn. Uh, but for real, thank you for sending us your collection. We appreciate it. We're gonna move on to the third one, which is a uh, say it, Charles Ashworth. Ashworth. <laughs> There's an eight somewhere in there. Oh, um, now Charles I see. Ashworth collection. Picture up on the screen. All right, this will oh, be. And he's Dan fan right there. He's this, got some Elmer. Okay, you got. Somehow you have an Elmer. <clears> a <throat> normal Elijah Craig. You Compass rare. box. I like Compass box stuff. I like. You that got pretty labels, yeah. You got some Scotch. I got. Yep. I can't recommend the same bottle twice in one video, but nope. I'd love to. Mm -hmm. I'd love mm -hmm. to right now. Yeah. Okay. A lot more Scotch than you do bourbon. Is it the only picture? Yes. Oh. Here's what I'm gonna say. This is gonna be easy. You ready for this? Uh, wait, off no, the we, cuff. We gotta just sending it. We, we gotta sending it like I'm on an old '90s. We're gonna enticer. talk about it. We'll get it back. Break. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's what you think, dude. Obviously, I'm going to recommend an Ardbeg Anoa, a Noah. I think is what they call it. That's gonna be my splurge. I think that's about the same price as some of these. You just ripping into it. I'm ripping into it. This is an off the cuff. All right. This is basically a freestyle wrap, dude. 
That's my splurge. We did it backwards. Okay, uh, my non-splurge <laughs> is gonna, oh, you just want me to go for splurge? You do whatever, you know what? I'll put whichever one on the screen you want. Oh, you're such a dick bag. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say my non-splurge is gonna be, I've said it before, uh, wild turkey rare breed. Terrible non-splurge. You'll love it. <laughs> um, so that's an interesting, cause he doesn't have that higher proof in here. It's only 114. I know, but all of these are sub 100. I'm trying to help him out okay, here. Okay, I don't disagree I'm with in that. Introing him to barrel proof. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You're welcome. My non splurge? Simple. It's easy. Okay. Easy to find. Okay. I may or may not have forgotten it. <laughs> Do you got your splurge? I'm thinking about That'd it. That'd be great if you had your splurge right now because I need some help. Ah, uh, well, we all know that. Um. Oh, my non splurge. Old Forcer Rye. You don't have a single rye in there. And I think that you need a rye. Because one rye, which let's be honest about Old Forcer rye, it's a very easy, palatable, non-scotch, like it's like a everybody's rye, right? That's kind of the idea. I, mean, I recommended scotch on this channel and I want to I feel like the slurgy one that. here is uh, E.H. Taylor Barrel proof, or not barrel proof, uh, single barrel. Sorry, right. okay. container single I, barrel. I feel like that's a good um, one. Like it's not crazy expensive, a little bit harder to find, but it's one that looking at what you got is gonna be pretty close to the profile that you want, and it's delightful, so. I think that's um, fair, it's probably 60 to $80 range. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for sending in that collection. Yeah, thanks for sitting through that shit show. Dude, I went off the cuff, Charles Ashworth. Yeah, you're a real dick. I'm a professional not here, you dude. straight him. professional dude thank you guys thank you everybody we're the bourbon junkies i'm dan i'm sean and the proof is in he's got educated wait what <laughs> <laughs> i think it's still recording yeah i hope so